Hello again, this is yet another video of uh, Equity for Keeps, Equity for Keeps program. Today we bring to you Facebook. Facebook is going to announce its earnings uh, after the closing bell on Wednesday, the uh, 31st, I think, no, Wednesday, the 30th of January 2019. Um, already we've come across uh, a note on Market Watch, or is it uh, Stock Tweets? Stock Tweets, yes. Is it, it's called the News Event, Facebook earnings after a, a year of scandals, record profits still expected. So it reads, uh, when Facebook releases results Wednesday after closing bell, the empire of websites and apps control, controlled by the company is expected to report nearly 6.4 billion in profit for the final three months of the year, over 1 billion more than has ever reported in a quarterly, in a quarter previously. The bulk of Facebook's revenue is from mobile ad sales, which analysts on average estimate at 14.94 billion in the fourth quarter, according to FactSet. So it uh, it's referring us to an article, the secrets that Google and Facebook don't want you to know. So an analyst at JP Morgan, Doug uh, and Moth wrote in a note to clients Friday that uh, Facebook is the most discussed and controversial internet company based on his uh, recent calls and meetings with uh, investors, but still successful. Deutsche Bank Securities analyst Lloyd Walmsley wrote in a note to clients that Facebook is his favorite mega cap internet name for 2019, and which the stock a buy with a 195 price tag. Like Barclays analyst Ross Sandler, who has a $180 price target, and rates Facebook a buy, wrote in notes clients that he expects regulatory risks and ongoing negative news stories will continue to be a problem. All right, let's quickly dive into our usual tool. Uh, this is the tool that uh, is provided by Charles Schwab. So we haven't seen anything any any new news yet this uh just uh, old news and they're talking about um other things uh this one says uh facebook said it will continue to block and remove fake accounts and find bad actors while bolstering measures on political advertising transparency it's as it seeks to limit the spread of false news so um remember we have a price target of about 195 from uh, 195 from Deutsche Bank. So we go back there again. And what do we have? 52 week uh, range, 123 to 218. That's 52 week range. An average volume of 20 million 321 for. 10 days, full call ratio for one day is 0 0.8, so they are, and then for 30 days it's 0 0.6, so people are, option traders are more or more keen on the calls, and uh, market capitalization is 423 billion, and uh, shares held by institutions 70%, she has outstanding 2.874 billion and short interest is 0 0.9. Not very wonderful, but on the short term, that can be something. So uh, it's also worth you know, uh, noting there is some short interest and we are expecting them to announce some of, to announce their results come Wednesday. So we look at your charts it's not uh, we shouldn't be surprised what, what, what about what we gonna see 
So look at that, yes. Of course, we know they have been uh, battered in the last few months. I mean, we're looking looking back from uh, August. That's that's when they've been declining, and uh, yeah, currently the price target uh, the Deutsche Bank uh, analyst talked about is up here. One hundred ninety five should be up here, close to two hundred. So, and it's this is this is it's uh, simple moving average for twenty two hundred days. It's at one hundred and sixty seven oh three. And currently it closed at uh, 147.06. And uh, these are the, uh, this is the lower, 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 uh, lower limit of its upper, of, of its price channel. Mm. I think it's somewhere there. It's lower limit. We don't need to. Then uh, these two, this and that, are either the uh, simple moving averages for 20 days and 50 days respectively. So currently, for this, for the for that, for for the 200, 220 and 50 days, it has uh, Facebook has uh, really beat, surpassed them. But uh, the next target will be the 200 days, which is a big ask. Um, it is possible that I can do that um, in a couple of days, but that's uh, mere speculation. And also, it is also worth uh, bearing in mind that uh, Bill Miller, who brought you a video about, about that some days ago, Bill Miller, the billionaire, the billionaire he uh, picked uh, Facebook and Amazon as his uh, as his uh, favorites for this year. So, well. Um, I think in that video, the short interest has actually reduced. So people have, uh, the people who held those positions have uh, been caught and they've been forced to close it. It may not be that they've been caught, but they've definitely caught to cut it back. Um, I'm not very sure that uh, that is the case, but um, yes, if they do announce something positive, you know, we're looking at, um, according to what this uh, news event is saying, they're looking at uh, a record profit over one billion more than has ever been reported in a pre in any previous quarter. So, well, if that happens, um, yes, there's a good chance that um, that nine point zero point nine percent short interest will may be closed. Or maybe reduced, or it will definitely be a factor. It will come into play. So the fact that it has some money in it, this is this short interest. This short interest, zero point nine, is is a good reason to watch Facebook um, because we're not just talking about the, what. What money? What money will come in there? It's there is definitely money there. So and we're looking at um, if we if zero point nine percent were to come in, how much? We, how, let's let's find a figure of what what, what what let's find a figure, zero point nine percent of its uh, equity and how much value that will be. So we're looking at uh, three point eight one four billion dollars worth in short interest money that is what can potentially go into facebook if it if they uh, if the 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 ex if the expected results are announced based on this this is the short interest divided by 100 times 2.874 billion and then multiplied by its uh, previous close price of 147.47 it gives us the amount of money that has been borrowed that must be put back you know that means it, it is that, that money must be put back the the for the, for that for the for the holders of uh, uh the of this of the the short interests 
you know they, for them to close their positions they have to buy it back so we're looking about uh, we're looking at 3.814 billion dollars worth of fire action into facebook assuming assuming they are all forced to buy it back and there's a chance that um that can always happen but even if it doesn't happen when they announce the results it can always uh, happen any other time but it is one of the reasons why people would want to put their money in facebook and yes it's also one of the reasons why also people will always want to continue to increase their position in their short interest position on facebook so uh from my own previous in previous experience facebook have in in previous quarters some years back as as way back as 2016 they announced on the on, on the day they announced the positive results the shares uh, didn't rise it fell so it could be the reverse the reverse could be also be the case and they